Welcome to the Dubai International Convention Center, and here we've got two shows rolled into one, Aircraft Interiors Middle East and MRO Middle East. And the world of MRO has been getting a lot of attention this week with the challenges that Boeing has with its 787 Dreamliner. Now we had an interview planned with Boeing today, but unfortunately they've had to withdraw. But there's a lot of other people willing to talk to us about these exciting markets. Join us after the break. Hello? Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm working. Yeah, yeah, I love you too. Bye. We're slaves to these, aren't we? We can't get away from them, even on aeroplanes. But that's a pretty good thing here at Aircraft Interiors Middle East. Part of the theme of this whole show is connectivity. And we're going to take a little look about where that's going. Does it work on the airlines? Where is it going in the future? At the moment, it's on Emirates, it's on Oman, it's on Saudi Arabian. And it's here, on air. Does connectivity work on air, Carl? Yes, it does. And I think you know what we've seen over the last couple of years is a, a, a big shift. You know, it was about four or five years ago it was really started to be introduced with with GSM and Wi-Fi. And I think there was some, you know, like any new technology, there was some teething problems. But now it becomes just normal. You know, we have the A380 fleet with Emirates as an example. We have Wi-Fi on all the aircraft. We're rolling out GSM and the service is excellent. And the way I would express, you know, GSM today is better than if you're in your car. In the car, it goes in and out. As a, on an aircraft, we create a small GSM network on board. It works perfectly, it's clear. And the Wi-Fi is a, is a hot spot. Just log on and you can activate through your Facebook, all your emails, etc. GoGo is known by most travelers in the United States now. Uh, we uh, have a large share of the uh, uh, airborne market. Um, uh, many flights now are uh, GoGo equipped with uh, Wi-Fi. Uh, we use a proprietary air-to-ground network owned by GoGo uh, in the United States. Um, uh, we are now exporting our service, as it were, uh, uh, out to the US uh, by hooking into various satellite technologies, um, including uh, KU band and uh, KA band uh, satellites. Well, I think what we're offering is a, is a quality experience in terms of uh, uh, in-flight uh, Wi-Fi internet. Uh, and also we now offer um, wireless IFE entertainment, so you can have movies streamed to your iPad or your own personal uh, device, whether it's an iPhone, iPad or a tablet device. The technology for um, the airlines going forward for Wi-Fi and GSM has definitely matured. The, 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 the equipment has, has matured. But what we're starting to see is today, you know, we offer with Inmasat, with Broadband, we will be offering Global Express in 2015. So we're seeing as the demand goes up, the technology will evolve as well. So two years ago, we weren't offering something called SBTV. So this is beaming up, you know, like news clips during the flights. This is half hour clips or half hour sports clips. So that's where the technology is going, is looking at bringing more data. It's, it's more usage um, for, for, for the passenger. Uh, the demand for this type of service is only going to increase. Uh, and uh, it's, it's our job to try to keep up with uh, what the customer, uh, in terms of the consumer or the traveler, wants. So we'll, we'll be there in 10 years. Well, the MRO and the Aircraft Interiors Middle East show certainly look like it's going to be successful this year. 226 exhibitors, 100 airlines, 3,000 visitors from 70 countries. But it's not all what's happening at the front of the show that counts. Some of the backroom boys are also doing very, very well. And when Sheikh Ahmed opened the show this morning, one supplier got the opportunity to conclude a deal with the home airline Emirates. So we are working with Emirates on their reliability module. Uh, we are one of the few providers globally of reliability and warranty applications and these are extremely important for airlines to have maximum uptime. We are an aviation MRO bond company so the entire code has been written for uh, aviation setup and MRO setup uh, so it's ground up built for aviation setup. 
and it has everything. It has materials, it has finance, it has HR, it has payroll, and of course it has the MRO functionality that you will need. So it's on iPad, it's on iPhone, it's on cloud. When you say it's on iPhone, that means we also have a screen, small factory screen. Uh, so to make the life of a mechanic easier, make the life of a storekeeper easier, allow people to take photograph of something defective and attach it to a discrepancy report. So just the idea is to make it easier for people to work in the field. The MRO Middle East show is bringing together a number of MRO providers from around the world. And with me now is Iberia, who have come over from Spain, part of the group that involves British Airways and others. And let's see what they have to offer for the Middle East. Well, uh, our main interest in the region is to cover whatever we have as a strength, which is basically engine maintenance services. We are capable to do basically uh, all the CFM uh, series, that's five, A, B, and C, that's seven. Uh, and we think we have a good product to offer in the region, which is basically on the narrow body, an Airbus or 737 operator. So there's a lot of talk in this region about development of MRO, whether it's through partnerships or investment into the region. How do you see that happening? Well, I'm, I'm glad you posed this, posed this question because one of the things that we are also looking in the region is partnership with local MROs or local airlines. We clearly think that this region will uh, continue developing. Uh, my personal view is that uh, components will be a, a, an area where uh, this region will become a major player. Uh, on the airframe side, long term, they will, they will be able to, to build up uh, business with a, with a reasonable margin. And probably engines is going to be the, the most difficult area to develop because of the pressure of the OEMs to retain as much work as they can. Investment in the component repair business is already happening. German firm Lufthansa Technik has just opened a component repair shop in Dubai and business is blooming. So Lufthansa Technik over the last uh, f uh, five years we've noticed that there's uh, a significant increase in demand of, of, of local services and um, particularly with respect to components and composite repairs. So what we've done uh, here in the region is we've opened around six months ago a local workshop at the Dubai Airport Free Zone. And uh, the idea behind that is to really lower costs for customers, uh, uh, get better turnaround times, so that means the parts are not being shipped anymore down to Hamburg, but actually being done here locally in, the, in our workshop in, in, in Dubai. Well, I, I think that uh, it's not the time to continue investing in other regions. I mean, the world has already overcapacity, probably in most of the areas. So more than adding capacity, what we needed to have local partners that help us to support the local customers. So this is the type of, of let's say, trading or partnership we are looking for. Somebody that help us to serve the, past, the customer here in the region and at the same time to bring some uh, activity to, uh, to Europe. Well, I hope that's given you a flavour of what's on offer here at the Dubai International Convention Centre with these two shows. Tomorrow, we're going to be talking to Saudi Arabia about what's happening in the kingdom with MRO, and we're going to be looking at seating and some of the other interesting developments in aircraft interiors. But as we say, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>